every time he leave me alone He always tell me he missed it He wanna Okay, so I'd go with $100 here. That would be my answer. And this is because at the end of the day, the thief steals that $100. So the store is out $100. But then that thief also buys $70 worth of goods. So the store at that point is out the $70 worth of goods, but they also get that $70 back in cash, right? But overall, they're still down that $70. And so then the owner of the store also returns the $30 and change. And so being out $70 and then being out an additional $30 because he gives it back in change means he's down $100 overall. Now, it's likely more nuanced than that because you have to factor in COGS here, cost of goods. Businesses tend to sell those goods at a marked up price so they can profit off of them. So if this was a real world situation, yeah, they sold $70 worth of goods, but unless those goods were all loss leaders, then... It could very well be less than $70, but without knowing the cogs that the business is running, there's no way to know for sure what the accurate answer would be. So I'd go with 100. Hope that helps.